Hey guys, what's up with you all? Hope you all are doing fantastic, mind blowing. This is Luna the Moon Tarot. Let's see what are your person's current energy update. And by the way, today is new moon. I hope you're doing the cleansing bit, deep cleaning, take a salt water bath tonight, meditate, light candles, focus on your well being tonight. New beginnings are going to happen. New moon always brings in new beginnings in your life. Anything that you have been manifesting and really wanted, you can go ahead and meditate for that on that particular intention with a lighted candle and keep your thoughts positive tonight. All right. So before I proceed, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you are a cross watcher, do not forget to uh, leave me a, uh, a comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that I'm able to catch up with your energies next. If you're already a subscriber, do leave me a comment as well. All right. So that I'm able to catch up with your energies next. Before I proceed, do remember that today is new moon. In case if you are looking for a healings, intentional intentions based healings for tonight, you can book me up. You can hit me up on my Instagram channel, on my Instagram page to book one for yourself. If this particular reading resonates with you, I will let you know what exactly which, which healing you need to go for. All right. Let's start with the collective energy of your relationship collective <clears throat> let's pull out one card prosperity lies again new moon and taurus oh my god how is it possible today's new moon and we have new moon card today so this is a good sign i feel that some sort of new beginning is going to happen tonight in most of your life i don't know whose energy i'm catching up with but in case if you have been looking for a lot of abundance prosperity in your love relationship today you should manifest one you should stay positive because i see things are happening your way the luck is in all again new moon in taurus new moon in sagittarius can you beat that today is new moon tonight is new moon and both the cards that we have received i'm gonna keep it here are of new moon energies oh my god so prosperity and luck is on your side prosperity lies ahead and luck is on your side if you have been manifesting something now is the time when you will be getting it as well universe is listening to you and somebody is going to get really lucky tonight right so i'm gonna just yeah better now let's see what does the what are the energies of your person towards you what are your energies towards them so this particular reading just take how it may resonate the energies can be vice versa okay so take how it may resonate with you and towards the end watch the entire video because towards the end i will be picking out cards for the messages from them all right Let's see, what are the current thoughts and feelings of your person towards you? Oh my god, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups definitely tells me that your person wants a commitment. In case if you've been asking for a commitment right now is the time when they are thinking about one. This person wants to get married to you, have kids with you, wants a happy married life with you and they see you as a long term partner with them. Right? Three of Cups. They are discussing this with their friends or they want, in case you guys are not talking, then they want a reconciliation. They want to be with you. They want to celebrate this life, this good news. And they want to tell you this. They are discussing this with your fr with their friends. Ace of Swords. Yes, they are going to communicate this to you. Very positive cards. Very positive feelings. In case you have been wondering when is it that they will come with a commitment. Ace of Pentacles. It is now. It is tonight. I see that if you've been manifesting stability, long-term commitment from your partner, 
now is the time when you will be getting it okay this person wants a commitment this person is all set to give you a commitment it's i would not be like very surprised if tonight or by next 24 to 48 hours this person comes to you and ask you propose you for a marriage i see a marriage proposal coming in i see in case if you haven't been talking then i see a reconciliation happening i see you guys were maybe even catching up with th this person can even come to your place to see you tonight to have a conversation face to face conversation have a blast with you and ace of pentacles definitely tells me that they want a commitment and they have done a lot of self introspection that's when they have decided that you are the one for them 10 of pentacles oh my god what what more can I say? This person definitely wants a family with you, a family life with you. They want to have children with you. Right? Wow. This person is also thinking about loyalty. There's a dog here. Probably something regarding loyalty is there. But as in point of time, I see that this person... Uh, feels that you have walked away from this connection maybe. And that's why they you know i feel that there has been a no contact situation but now they want to come forward they are coming out of their um self introspection uh you know this particular going in the shell going into hermit mode they're coming out of that hermit mode uh bringing in the proposal uh they feel that you have walked away and you have closed the chapter with them they are feeling that okay that you are not there energe energetically and Somewhere down the line, the emperor cards tell me that this person, either they feel that you're very egoistic or this person um, is very egoistic because of which this person is not going to take a step forward. The high priestess, again, the high priestess is telling me that this person is sort of following their intuitions, all right? This person is sort of following their intuition, trying to get a hold of their life, maybe even taking a tarot card reading for your uh, connection with them. The Page of Cups tells me uh, this person is definitely feeling sorry, wants to propose to you, wants to apologize. And in case if you have been looking or waiting for a message to come in, now is the time when this person is thinking about sending you a message. Nine of Cups tells me that this person is into a lot of addiction. Okay, this person has a lot of addiction. Emotionally, they are sort of very much connected with you. And they really don't know what exactly they need to do, whether they need to maintain the emperor state, which is ego, ego, or they actually have to say sorry to you about the things that may have happened in the past, probably, or what exactly has happened with you or something. The seven of pentacles uh, tells me that this person uh, is thinking to wait and let you approach them or something right because this person is feeling very passionate towards you seven of cups tells me there are a lot of choices that this person has and their judgment is very much clouded the wheel of the year tells me that this particular connection has seen a lot of, lot of ups and downs okay between you and this person the four of swords tells me that this person is thinking a lot on that ground as well that there has been a lot of ups and down in this particular connection what is it that i need to do i'm very confused seven of wands tells me this person is not ready to come out of their comfort zone right has a lot of trust issues somewhere down the line this person himself herself whosoever that you're watching this for i'm uh, you know gender doesn't matter here uh things about you a lot and about this connection a lot i feel that this person sort of pushed you away right now they are thinking about it a lot and they feel that you're going to come to them uh you know slowly and gra gradually sooner or later someday or the other the knight of wands tells me that this person has been very in and out or your connection has been very in and out because of which this entire thing has become a mess three of wands waiting waiting for what the world for the negativity to end you know uh take how it may resonate again i'm saying that but i see there has been uh 
the emotions are quite strong this person is holding a lot of strong emotions but this person doesn't know what exactly they need to do whether they need to be sorry about what they are feeling or they need to say sorry to you about things or what exactly they need to be doing they really don't understand they feel that you know they need to end uh, whatever is going on they need to move on or will this particular connection start sailing in the karma water what exactly is going to happen in this particular connection right at the same point of time even if they are thinking about moving on here they feel that you know they they still feel very hopeful here okay they feel very hopeful here they are still feeling very hopeful that situation may turn around for good okay that you're gonna sail back to them or you you are feeling that you are, this person is going to come back to you. Some hope is definitely there. Right? The Emperor again. Uh, the Empress, sorry. So we have the Emperor and the Empress. You guys are actually mirroring each other. You are somebody who's very beautiful. This person knows that you're very caring, very nurturing. Six of Pentacles. There is an imbalance in this situation with the Lover's card. This person is definitely in love with you. They are very much in love with you their love their emotions are overflowing for you and they want to take a call okay they they want to reconcile with you they want to be with you they can't get over you they may be showing you that right now they are very cold-hearted you may be thinking that this person is not at all bothered about you giving you cold shoulder or whatnot but right now i feel that somewhere down the line this person wants to reconcile with you and with the queen of pentacles they see you as somebody who's very stable doing good in your life have a lot of fears though okay and a lot of regrets what they and how they have treated you because you are somebody who is passionate go-getter doing well for yourself eight of wands feeling very stuck wants to communicate give you clarity but right now they are feeling very discontent not very hope you know sort of very hopeless in love but because of the argument that you might have uh, got into when you spoke last right now they want you to come towards them okay and balance the situation but i think right now whatever has happened has changed something within them they are thinking they are worried about a future and this is the karmic lesson that they were supposed to learn so is you sort of i see that there are a lot of lies and uh, runner chaser behavior lies and deceptions here king of cups yet again tells me that they feel very caring very nurturing and there is a transformation this person is going through closing their heart off and uh, kind of breaking the new contact situation trying to have a new beginning because in their life they are feeling very burdened they want to feel happiness they want to feel happiness they want to feel security they want to enjoy this life and queen of cups tells me that they see you as somebody who's very caring very nurturing and with the five of wands i feel that this person wants to end the conflicts here and two of pentacles yet again tells me that this person is juggling about their future guys take how it may resonate because this person definitely feels a lot about you but not sure whether what they have to do strongly i feel that this person is going to approach you send you a message pretty soon and if it is no contact situation they are going to uh, send you a message the communication is definitely going to start pretty soon in next 48 to 72 hours at the max and uh, if you've been asking for a, for a commitment, I see a marriage propo proposal coming to you very soon. Now, let's see what are the messages this person has for you. Okay, the very first message that I got. I'm becoming a better person. Uh, the very first message that I got is I'm becoming a better person. This person is sort of uh, working upon uh, himself, herself, whosoever you're watching this particular reading. Again, gender doesn't matter. Take how it may resonate and whatever, howsoever it may apply to your situation. I love you. This person definitely is in love with you. I can't stop thinking about you. Like I said, I wonder if you're happy without me. What else do we have here? What else do we have here, please? What 
What else do we have here, please? I look for you everywhere. You speak me uh, to me through music. Just being near you is intoxicating. It's time for me to heal now. So somewhere down the line, I feel that uh, this person is uh, kind of doing a lot of self-introspection. As now is the time when they are coming out of it. We both know that I'm not the one for you. We will be together again, and I feel you. Even though we are apart, sometimes I stay awake, thinking about you. I knew exactly what I was doing. My life is not as together as it seems. You and I were too young. We need to let go of each other. You don't know it was how it was letting go. You know, um, in this particular situation, what I feel right now, guys, um, I see a marriage proposal definitely coming in for majority of you. For very few, if you are in a no contact situation, if this person doesn't approach, then I see a lot of healing happening. Because why I said that is because, you know, um, so when I see this, these cards, sorry, I'm just messing it up, sort of. <laughs> um, Okay, so I see reconciliation, I see communication starting, I see happy times coming in and I see stability also coming in here. Alright, majority is going to get a proposal. Majority of you will get a proposal here. I, marriage proposal, yes, definitely. I see that happening. I see uh, higher levels of commitment. Yes, definitely. I see that happening. And uh, if you see this card, the three of cups, that is yet again telling me that there are so many things that are going to turn around this very month or by December in the next one month in all of yours life that you won't even imagine that you know what is going to happen in your love life uh, for very few i feel that this person again is going to come forward not like this person won't if they are not coming forward in next 24 to 48 hours i see them healing themselves all right but once they are with their self with themselves doing introspection self intro inspection uh, and all that stuff they are going to come forward towards they are going to realize a lot many things and they would want to reconcile right now is their healing time give them some space let them heal they are going to send you a message i am 110 percent sure okay i can watch on that so that's about it um Let's see um, what is going to happen because I see a lot many, I see a lot of love, okay, I see a lot of love but I also see self-sabotaging beliefs. This person carries a lot of self-sabotaging beliefs because of which this particular connection has been spoiled. A lot of in and out, a lot of self-sabotaging beliefs, a lot of, uh, you know, conflicts but love still exists. All right. So thank you so much. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.